Ahoy, Captain, and welcome to Two Minutes Off, a series in which we explain rules and regulations on maritime sustainability in just two minutes. Why two minutes? Because your time is precious and our goal is to make your life easier, not harder. So in the next two minutes, we will explain the most important aspects of CII, the Carbon Intensity Indicator by IMO. We will explain what it is, why it is important, and how it will impact your vessel and operations. And if after these two minutes you still need help, for instance with the calculation of CAI for your vessel, feel free to contact the help desk so that we may answer all your questions. Let's start with why, the bigger picture first, and that is the International Maritime Organization, which has set goals to decarbonize shipping industry towards 100% decarbonization in 2050, with these intermediate goals in between. And the Carbon Intensity Indicator, CII, is one of the instruments or measures in order to achieve these targets and thereby decarbonize the shipping industry. CI itself is part of the Ship Energy Efficiency Management Plan number three. We started out with number one in 2012, number two in 2019, and the latest update from 2023 onwards includes the carbon intensity indicator, amongst others. And under these regulations, ship owners are required to submit their CII yearly in order to get a rating. And each year, the requirements become more stringent in line with IMO's decarbonization targets. Okay, great, so it's important, but what exactly is it? CII is a number. It shows you how efficiently a ship transports goods or passengers. It's given in grams of CO2 emitted per cargo carrying capacity and nautical mile. Here's an example where the CII is calculated by dividing the annual CO2 emissions, fuel consumption multiplied by emission factor, and dividing it by the amount of distance sailed in nautical miles with the capacity of the ship. This calculation is performed each year and evaluated by a recognized organization, usually class, based on IMO DCS data. So how does this affect your operations and what do you have to do? Well, maybe you don't have to do anything because CI only applies to these ship types with a gross tonnage above 5,000. But hey, if you're watching this video, that probably means that it applies to you. So if you have to comply to CII, your data will have to be verified yearly by a recognized organization like class who will calculate the CII based on IMO and DCS data and provide you with a rating. In case you have an E rating or in this case three D ratings in three consecutive years, you have a low rating and thereby you are non-compliant. In all other cases and ratings, you are compliant and you don't have to do anything. In case of non-compliance, you have to develop a corrective actions plan and reapply this plan for evaluation to the recognized organization. And then you are again compliant. And that concludes our two minutes of CII. If you want to calculate CII yourself, use the decarbonizer or CII tool that we have available on the website. But if you just want to save time, feel free to contact our help desk at any time in order for us to answer all your questions regarding CII or anything else. Thank you for your time and have a great day.